Next to smoking, the leading cause of this deadly disease could be lurking right in your own home. It's colorless, odorless, and incredibly toxic. I'm talking about radon. If you think you've heard everything you need to know about radon, well, think again. There are thousands of radon hotspots throughout the United States, areas where levels are so toxic they could cause harm to the human body. We randomly tested a handful of households in Reading, Pennsylvania, a known hotspot, to see just how at risk families there are. Today, one family learns the result. We'll meet that family in just a moment, but first joining me is Rebecca Morley, Executive Director of the National Center for Healthy Housing. So Rebecca, what is radon and what do we need to know about it? So radon is a naturally occurring gas. It comes from the soil and the rocks, and it, the problem is when it seeps up into our homes and gets trapped there. Mm -hmm. uh, we breathe in radon every day in the atmosphere, and it's not a problem because it's diluted with fresh air. But when it's trapped in your home and you're trapped in there with it, that's when it becomes a problem. Now, a lot of folks have heard about radon. You put your hands up, right? We heard a lot about the 80s and 90s. So, so how does it connect to lung cancer? Well, scientists definitely agree that it, is, it causes lung cancer. It's one of just a handful of class A carcinogens. That means we have human data to show the connection between radon exposure and lung cancer. It basically damages the cells that line the lungs, and that's what leads to lung cancer. Well, the threat of radon is real, and families all over the country are at risk. So take a look at this map and find out where you live on this map. And if you look carefully, zone one are the really, really high areas, the, and then the or, sort of orange areas, a little bit less dangerous, but still considered radon hotspots. If you find yourself on that map in either a red or an orange area, you need to get your home tested immediately. Frankly, I think everyone ought to get their home tested. I, mean, I just did it recently because I didn't realize until recently what, what a problem it was. But at least I woke up and I heard the message, and I want everyone in the country thinking the same thing. So we headed to Reading, Pennsylvania, which is one of those radon hotspots, to find families that didn't know that they were at risk. And we got some astounding results. Welcome, Tina and Greg. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Did you know that you were living in a radon hotspot? You know, I, I had heard that Pennsylvania has high, a uh, high amount of radon, but I, I really didn't think we had a new home. I, I really didn't think that it was a problem for us. So if I can just ask a provocative question, since it's one of those things that's pretty easy to do, why wouldn't you have tested your home for radon? Well, because it was new, and it was a newer home. It was only seven years old. Mm -hmm. uh, we thought that that would be something that you would have with, uh, with the construction. So Tina, come with me. I've got a little demonstration to explain why radon is so dangerous for the lungs. Please join me over here. All right. Part of the problem with radon is that you can't see it, you can't smell it, you can't taste it. So, you smell that? No. Good. Right? This is just water. But <laughs> although we labeled it radon and put a marking on here to scare you, so you know, we're not going to expose you to radon. But you're, you frankly couldn't tell the difference between it. So let's just pretend this is radon. And let's just say that it emits those small toxic particles that I just sprayed in the air. Right? The lungs, which this represents, are very sensitive. So go ahead and take this radon canister and spray your lungs and see what happens. Just get it in a focused area. Just you can do one spot. Yeah. Right. And as you do that, you'll notice it quickly begins to get toxic to the lungs and erodes it away. And even after you stop, it melts away that delicate lung tissue. And when that tissue melts away, you no longer have the protection. And by damaging this area, as it begins to erode away the borders, the cells begin to try to reproduce to, to heal themselves. So they'll make a mistake as they're reproducing. And when they make a mistake, it becomes a cancer, as I showed in that earlier animation. So let me show you now how it gets into your house. Come on with me if you don't mind. We can put the radon down. So if you look in the house, there are a couple different ways you can get in. But this is a pretty typical model of what a house might look like. So you've got cracks in the basement. Uh, you've got crawl space that could have actual little edges. You've got pipes that go up, sometimes up into your showers. And all of these allow radon, the red little arrows there, to get in. So you don't have to have bad construction, but you have to be in a, on top of a rock pile that's giving off the radon gas. And unless you know for sure that you're not on one, and most of the folks who are watching right now are not geologists, you're not going to know for sure. And look, if the fact that you can go up the pipes to your shower head and get into the water, it's even more reason. Because although it's a heavy gas, it doesn't necessarily always just stay in the basement. It can go up a little bit higher. Right. So come have a seat if you don't mind.